Hello, today we're going to explore how to use the new app called Cameo, which is located in your Wake ID portal. This app allows you to access the Adobe software on your computer or a Chromebook without having to actually install the software. This is great for people who have computers that have limitations due to maybe an age, or if it's a Chromebook, for example, you cannot install certain softwares at all on a Chromebook. As you can see, I am in my Wake ID portal. Um, mine does look a little different because I am a teacher. So yours will have less options but you should have something that looks like Cameo. I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna launch automatically into a new tab. Sometimes when you are first launching the Cameo, it takes a few extra seconds. So just be aware that you are logging into a remote server, which can take a little longer to do this. I'm doing this on a day where it's not being used. So it did log in quite quickly. I am going to choose Adobe Illustrator for this demonstration just to show you. While it launches, I do want to kind of lock, look, launch through the other options. You can see there are all the Adobe softwares along with the Microsoft options and some other programs that we use in drafting classes and game art animation because a lot of other programs in the CTE department use these. You can lock into any of these as long as you have access, and I do mean the Adobe, because as a student in Adobe Visual Design, Adobe Video Design, Digital Design, Digital Media 2, you do have the option to use Adobe software while you're enrolled in the class. This is going to come up. You're going to say allow. You always want to say allow so that it allows the program to work effectively. When it launches, you will log in to your Adobe account um, in order to access this. It is still spinning, so I'm gonna let it take a second. This is a Windows version of the software as the remote server is a Windows option. Um, under here, for some reason, it is still logged in, though I had logged out, so I'm gonna sign out just to show you what it'll look like the first time that you sign in. I am logging out of my Adobe, I'm saying sign out. I strongly recommend making sure you do sign out every now and then just so it kind of gives the system a, a reset, so to speak. While it's spinning, it is going to relaunch the software for me and give me the option to log back in. If you are in one of these classes, you will have access to the software using your WCPSS email only. If you use your personal email or something like that, you will only have access to a paid version where Wake County does pay for it for you. While we're waiting for this to launch, I do wanna bring your attention to the blue plus sign at the bottom of the screen where you have full screen options, you have a clipboard option, you have a keyboard that you can activate, and then you can also go into switch and files. So here's the sign in. I'm gonna sign in with my Wake County email and say continue, it's automatically going to ask me between personal account and company or school account. You may not get this option. The reason I do is I have a personal account with Adobe using this particular email, so I'm gonna make sure that I choose company or school account. Then it's gonna redirect me to my Wake ID credentials, so I'm just gonna log in like I always do, and then hit continue to log in. Once it goes through that, basically I'm just certifying my credentials that I do have the right to have access to this particular software because Wake County pays for it. Then I'm gonna say file, open. What I've done for students who are located in one of my classes, for example, is under the G team drive, you will see a folder. I have Digital Media 2, for example, or Adobe Visual Design, where I am putting the files that you would need to be able to access out of the Google Classroom in here to make it a little easier for you. You can open up any of these different folders, and I'm just going to choose one at random, the Align Panel Worksheet, and say Open. Now, it's important to understand that this is the G team drive drive, also known as the shared drive, which is located in your Google Drive. And here it is underneath my shared drives and it's week three, week four. It's important to understand while you may open files from here, students only have the viewer access, which means you are not able to save in here. 
Eventually the program will open and it will look exactly like it does when I'm demonstrating my version, which is an installed version. Again, down here I have a full screen option, which sometimes will do some things for you to let you see menu choices and things like that, but I'm going to kick out of it. It does kind of get a little glitchy sometimes. I will automatically grant you that. For example, the properties panel had emptied itself out and I had to click on a different tab to activate it. Some of the keyboard shortcuts also don't always work the same way due to them also working ex the same on the computer. You do have to make sure that you click into the computer to activate certain keyboard shortcuts, like I'm using Command Minus and Command Plus, zoom in and zoom out. And again, you can see that properties panel emptied itself again, and I went back. I will admit it does have some glitches, but it is the best alternative for those who cannot install software. I can use this worksheet just like I would use it on my regular computer, selecting items using the align panel, for example, to do things um, like I would do in the worksheet normally. When I'm done, I am going to say file, and I'm going to make sure that I say save as. If you choose save, it will save it back to the worksheet folder that we got it from, which is that shared drive that you cannot save into. However, it will show you that you can save, which is one of those kind of dangerous things. So you have to make sure that you get in the habit of saying save as. I'm going to save this as scales, Emily, second period, which is our file naming convention. And then I'm going to navigate to my G drive, which is also just your general Google drive. I would strongly recommend making a folder for our class so that you can find things more effectively when you go to Google Classroom to turn them in. So I'm going to click over here and open up this folder and then say save. When this pops up, you're just going to say OK. Now, when I were, if I were to go back into my Google Drive, that file is now going to be located there. As we progress through the course, I will be adding the files for you. I'm going to X this out. I'm going to say file and I'm going to exit the program or quit the program. It's important to go ahead and quit every time. And then I'm going to hit the X at the top. I'm going to go back to my Cameo, and I'm going to log out as well. And then this just helps everything run smoothly the next time I were to open the Cameo app and the Adobe apps. You may use any of the other softwares available to you in the Adobe suite along with the Microsoft. However, like I said, some of these may not work for you if you don't have a license. Hopefully that helps you get a better sense of Cameo. And as you use it, it will become smoother to you and it will become more... Um, instinctive and less, you know, um, confusing for you. Okay. Thank you.